Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. In order to be married in this land, you have to have a what? Now give me that in uh, Sarah. So the rules, you gotta have a marriage license. In order to say that you are married in America, like if you die right now, God forbid, she ain't got no power over your body. She ain't got no power, she can't do nothing. Because guess what? She ain't got no marriage certificate to prove that y'all two are married. You understand? Whatever, they can do whatever they want to do with you and she ain't got no say so. Did you know that? But y'all been having sex for 25 years. That's all it is, it's sex. That's it, fornication. You understand? You, she can't say nothing on your behalf if something was to happen to you. If you was to go in the hospital right now and someone had to make a decision on a life and death situation for you, she wouldn't be able to do anything because she, you're not married. Because you don't have that certificate. Now they say, you know what, we don't got nobody here to make a decision on what to do with you that can allow you to die. So now, brother, you, what's your name? Yeah. Say it again? Yeah. Sister, you understand? You cannot wear pants, sis. You got a, you, you get a flyer, right? I don't like dresses, so I'm wearing pants. Sis, <laughs> it's, dresses is a beautiful thing for our people to wear. So for you being a princess, you got on leggings, you probably to have a dress over your leggings. Say it again? I want to ask you a question. Come here. I'm listening. Come here. Go ahead. As far as coming, as far as getting back to back to, to the Most High, it seems like that. Uh, wearing wearing a dress all the time, or not wearing pants, seems to me to be a deal. With the women? Yes. It's it's very grievous unto our women. You know why? You know why? Because a lot of our women. Oh yeah, yeah, she know, but she gotta come come to the school. You know, that's another thing, right? That you gotta come and keep the Sabbath every Saturday, huh? I keep the Sabbath. Well, who? Just y'all, are y'all together? Just by your, just y'all two? The Bible says you gotta gather together with more believers. Y'all two can't do this by yourself. No, we can't do it by. Okay, let me ask you a question, bro. Come right here. Let me show you something. If it's just too many of us sleeping. Man. I want Hebrews sin too. It's too many of us sleeping. You, you cut your beard? You grow a beard, right? Give me uh give me Hebrews real quick. 10 and 20, is it 20, 25? Gather together. Forsake not the assembly of ourselves together. Let me get that real quick. Because y'all say y'all keep the Sabbath, but it's things that y'all don't that y'all not applying that if you come around the body, we can help you out. You understand? Cause you still wearing pants. You ain't got no fringes on. What must you? What can? What can? And you can't do on the Sabbath. What? What can't you do on the Sabbath? What else? See, work, cooking. You're not, but I'm just saying, those are some of the things you're not supposed to do. But you're supposed to do this too. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. The Bible says, don't forsake the assembly of ourselves together. It's not talking about just two people. Y'all understand? Y'all together always, right? That's your girl? Y'all married? You married. You married legally. No, legally, you did you go downtown and get a marriage certificate? Y'all not married. You just fornicate. That's all for 25 years. You say you know, 
Teach. Okay. No, listen. This to help you out, brother. But you just read. You know what I'm saying? I just read what? Like, you know, I just read. Let's say not the laws of men. I'm talking about. No, I didn't say that. Say? Read it again. Say, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembly of the assembly. I'm not there, what I'm you talking, talking about? I'm talking about what you read before. You know what I'm saying? Well, I read. What did it say? Okay. No, I'm asking you because so I can go back to it. Because I'm talking about what you said was, you know what I'm saying? About far as the laws. You know what I'm saying? The law, we're talking about the laws in the Bible. Uh, we're talking about, okay, right. The laws of the Bible. Now show me where it says, you know what I'm saying, that you have to be married from downtown. Okay, give me uh, you got your, give me that in uh, token. I want forty two and seven first. I'm gonna get that one too. I'm get all of them. Give me that. I'm gonna show you. Actually, yeah, let's get Romans Judah, let's get Romans thirteen. Let's Bring get that out. one first. So you you say because you know you're an Israelite too, huh? Okay, there was some things you don't know. It's it's not to we're not gonna beat you down. It's to help you out to help build you up. All right, watch this. I'm on Romans 13, verse 1. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subjected unto the higher powers. So the Bible says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Who is the higher powers right now in America? Yes, who are the people that rule America? Bring it out. What people? What race? The white folks. The white folks, right? All right, so the Bible says, let everyone be subject unto the higher powers. It's talking about us. Read, but because we was brought into captivity for our sins. So now we're under the white man's rulership. Read. For there is no power but of God. So any power that's set up on the earth comes from God. Anybody that got power, it comes from God. Read. But of the powers of that be are ordained of God. So all the powers on the earth are ordained of God. Read. Whosoever therefore resists the power Resistes the ordinance of God. So who, whosoever resisted the power resisted the ordinance of God. Meaning if you go against this white man's system, not, not talking about if the if his system set up, if his things set up in his land that don't go against the Bible, that don't have you breaking God's laws, we got to follow them. Like driving with a driver's license. That's not a sin against God. If you drive without a driver's license, what's going to happen to you? Bring it out. You going to jail. Teach. Right? So if the white man set that law up in his land that you must have a driver license to drive, you got to follow that rule. That's right. You understand? Read. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Read. For the rulers are not a terror to good work. So listen. So now it says that we have to follow the rules. We have to follow the rules of this land. What's the rules of this land when it comes to in order to be married? In order to be married in this land, you have to have a what? Now give me that in uh, Sarah. So the rules, you gotta have a marriage license. In order to say that you are married in America, like if you die right now, God forbid, she ain't got no power over your body. She ain't got no power, she can't do nothing. Because guess what? She ain't got no marriage certificate to prove that y'all two are married. You understand? Whatever, they can do whatever they want to do with you and she ain't got no say so. Did you know that? But y'all been having sex for 25 years. That's all it is, it's sex. That's it. Fornication. You understand? You, she can't say nothing on your behalf if something was to happen to you. If you was to go in the hospital right now and someone had to make a decision on a life and death situation for you, she wouldn't be able to do anything because you're not married. Yep. Because you don't have that certificate. Now they say, you know what? We don't got nobody here to make a decision on what to do with you that can allow you to die. I, I'm just saying, if you didn't have anyone, but still, your partner right here, y'all not met, bro, that's, it's just fornication. You understand? And I'm gonna read the scripture too, read that. This is the book of Tobit, chapter seven, verse 14. And called Edna, his wife, and took papers. And took papers. This was a marriage ceremony that our ancestors was having. Read. And did write an instrument of covenant. And did write an instrument of covenant. And sealed it. That was it. So now, what was that talking about? What verse did you start at? Start at 13. 
Verse 13. Then he called his daughter Sarah, and she came to her father. And he took her by the hand and gave her to be wife to Tobit. And gave her to be wife to Tobias. Said, Behold, take her after the law of Moses and lead her away to thy father. And he blessed them and called Edna his wife and took paper. So after they got married, she called Edna his wife and she took paper. And did write an instrument of covenant. And did write an instrument of covenant. And sealed it. And sealed it. And sealed it. That's the same seal like when you go down and get married here in America. They step it with the seal right. that to let them know that you are actually married, that this is actually your wife. Yes. Not what you, this is apocryphal. This is the apocryphal. Now, give me 42, Sirach 42 and 7. Sirach 42 and 7. Let's get one more precept, and then we're going to go to 1 Corinthians to show you what you're doing and the judgment for it. You understand? Because let me ask you a question. What's fornication? Sex without marriage. Are you married? Okay, read this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 42, verse 7. Deliver all things in number and weight and put all in writing. Put all things in writing. Last scripture in uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Do you know what God said? He said put all things in writing so you can have what? Proof. You put all things in writing so you can have proof. So if the Lord said that we got to follow this, uh, the uh, rulers of this land, if they say, hey, only way you prove that you're married if you got to go down, you got to go downtown to get the marriage certificate. You got to go to court, sis. Or otherwise, it's just funny. Y'all just having sex. That's all it is. Y'all just best friends. Read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So those that's breaking God's commandments, you're not going to... Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.